they had sex with humans. And slowly, for generation to generation, we became smaller. In a truly monumental feat of exploration, scientists have made a shocking discovery that can change everything we know about ancient history. Recent exploration has led to scientists finally opening the endlessly sought-after tomb of the Anunnaki Nephilim King, which had been sealed for an awe-inspiring span of 5,000 years. They have also uncovered numerous other discoveries related to the giants that once walked on Earth and could trace back to their existence and races using modern DNA technology. What did scientists find in the tomb and what other age-old science-deferring discoveries have been revealed? And what are the implications of this discovery? Let's explore these ancient existences that have resurfaced recently and what the discoveries might mean for present-day races. The news that scientists have finally opened the tomb of an Anunnaki Nephilim king, sealed for 5,000 years, has sparked intense curiosity and intrigue. The Anunnaki, a group of deities in ancient Mesopotamian cultures, are often associated with mythologies and theories about extraterrestrial beings. The term Nephilim, derived from ancient texts, is sometimes interpreted as giants or fallen angels, adding an aura of mystery to this supposed discovery. In archaeological terms, tombs from ancient civilizations are invaluable windows into the past. The tomb, sealed for millennia, held royal artifacts, inscriptions, or even the remains of the king, mysteriously preserved to stay intact. There is a belief that the 14 lost books of Enki provide details about the Anunnaki. These texts attributed to the mythical figure Enki, an Anunnaki god in Sumerian mythology, have captured the imagination of some alternative history enthusiasts and conspiracy theorists. According to this speculative narrative, the lost books of Enki contain detailed information on various topics, providing unconventional insights into ancient history. One of the captivating claims is that these texts describe the builders of the pyramids as the Anunnaki, extraterrestrial beings believed by some to have played a role in human development. The pyramids in this interpretation are depicted not merely as monumental structures, but as spaceports used by the Anunnaki. The lost books supposedly mention writing in cruciform, suggesting a unique form of writing or script that diverges from conventional historical accounts. Cruciform writing adds an element of mystery and uniqueness to the alleged contents of these lost books, fueling speculations about hidden knowledge and alternative histories. The epic of Gilgamesh is brought into this narrative, connecting the lost books of Enki to one of the oldest known works of literature. The epic of Gilgamesh, originally a Sumerian tale, is often considered a reflection of human experiences and existential quests. The claim that the lost books delve into the epic of Gilgamesh implies a deeper layer of esoteric knowledge, suggesting a broader narrative about human origins and destiny. An archaeological discovery in Iraq unveiled a tomb containing the remains of a giant human, sparking curiosity and speculation about the identity of this colossal figure. The find stirred debates among historians, archaeologists and enthusiasts alike, delving into the realms of ancient myths, legends and historical narratives. The giant corpse discovered in the Iraqi tomb was not an isolated case, but rather part of a broader exploration into ancient civilizations and their cultural beliefs. Legends of giants have permeated various mythologies, and this discovery brought those stories to the forefront. Some interpretations suggested connections to biblical narratives, where references to giants are scattered throughout texts like the Old Testament. As archaeologists and researchers examined the skeletal remains, they sought to unravel the mystery surrounding this ancient giant. 
anthropological studies aimed to determine the individual's approximate age, lifestyle, and potential societal role. Forensic analysis of the bones provided insights into the person's diet, health, and any possible anomalies that might contribute to the perception of giantism. One of the prominent theories emerging from these investigations pointed towards acromegaly, a medical condition caused by excess growth hormone, which can result in enlarged bones and facial features. This medical explanation offered a scientific perspective on the giant's stature, grounding the discovery in physiological terms rather than mythological or supernatural ones. The identity of the giant found in the Iraqi tomb remained elusive, but efforts were made to contextualize the individual within the historical and cultural milieu of ancient Mesopotamia. Scholars explored potential connections to royal lineages, influential leaders, or mythological figures who might have been elevated to giant status in local narratives. While the giant corpse stirred imaginations and fueled discussions about the intersection of mythology and reality, it also highlighted the challenges of interpreting ancient remains within the broader context of cultural beliefs, historical narratives, and medical science. As archaeological endeavors continue to unearth fascinating discoveries, the giant found in the Iraqi tomb is a compelling chapter in the ongoing exploration of our shared human past. The Epic of Gilgamesh is one of the oldest stories in human history, featuring the protagonist Gilgamesh, a legendary figure whose narrative was often considered more myth than reality, and described in the story as a colossal giant measuring 17 feet tall. Gilgamesh's existence was questioned for centuries, with many believing him to be a literary creation rather than an actual historical figure. Everything changed in 2003 when the body believed to be Gilgamesh was discovered, challenging the long-held perception of his character as merely a literary concept. The find was significant, raising questions about the historical basis of the Epic of Gilgamesh. While the exact circumstances of Gilgamesh's death remain uncertain, the discovery sparked a reassessment of ancient narratives. Joag Fassbinder and his team played a significant role in this discovery, utilizing modern technology to unveil the ancient truth behind the myth. The grave they unearthed was believed to belong to the legendary Uruk king, shedding light on the historical reality that inspired the epic tale. Fassbinder emphasized the crucial role of contemporary tools and techniques in making this groundbreaking find. Modern technology not only confirmed the existence of Gilgamesh, but also led the exploration team to a vast archaeological landscape. The discovery extended beyond the burial site, uncovering over 100,000 hectares of land and property, each holding its historical significance. The findings added layers to the narrative of Gilgamesh, transforming a once presumed mythical figure into a tangible historical presence. The exploration team's meticulous efforts revealed a tangible connection to ancient times, illustrating the potential merging of mythology and history. The unearthing of Gilgamesh's supposed remains prompted scholars and enthusiasts alike to reconsider the blurred lines between ancient stories and factual historical events. As we continue to explore and understand our past, discoveries like these challenge preconceived notions and bridge the gap between myth and reality, enriching our comprehension of the ancient world. Joerg and his team's assertion of discovering the tomb and even Babylonian houses and properties scattered in the area, buried underground for millennia, adds a fascinating layer to the historical narrative. According to their claims, the entire epic seems to have tangible archaeological evidence sparking intrigue about the fate of this ancient civilization. But a big question arises. What happened to the Babylonian houses and properties? 
and how were they wiped or hidden from existence? One prominent theory suggesting the reason for the mystery surrounding the fate of the Babylonian remnants is the war cover-up theory. This theory posits that site excavations were abruptly halted due to the Iraq War. The political and military unrest during this period might have disrupted the archaeological endeavours, leaving the ancient artefacts and structures concealed beneath the earth, waiting to tell their stories. The Iraq War, marked by geopolitical complexities and international interventions, could have led to the suspension of excavations for various reasons. Concerns for the safety of researchers and the preservation of historical sites during times of conflict often lead to the temporary abandonment of archaeological projects. The chaos and instability of war can pose significant challenges to the meticulous and delicate work of uncovering ancient civilizations. The notion that the Iraq War might have interrupted the excavation efforts raises questions about the lost chapters of human history that remain buried beneath the ground. The war cover-up theory suggests that the consequences of geopolitical events extend beyond the immediate impacts on societies and geopolitical landscapes, influencing the uncovering of our historical heritage. While the claims of Babylonian houses and properties hidden underground are interesting, the interruption caused by the Iraq War underscores the fragile nature of historical exploration in times of conflict. The unresolved mystery of what lies beneath the surface invites contemplation about the potential revelations that might emerge when excavations can resume, shedding light on the enigmatic stories of ancient civilizations in the region. The buried remnants caught in the intersection of history and geopolitics await the day when researchers can once again uncover the truths they hold. Another popular theory is the super-soldier theory. According to this theory, the items and artefacts excavated from the Babylonian era might have been unearthed. Still, their disclosure to the public is allegedly suppressed by the US government and the global elite. This conspiracy narrative suggests that the artefacts, potentially containing crucial historical and genetic information, are deliberately concealed. The proponents of this theory propose that the US government, in collaboration with the global elite, is orchestrating clandestine operations on these discoveries. The motive behind such secrecy, as posited by the theory, revolves around the idea of super-soldiers. The essence of the super-soldier theory is deeply rooted in the belief that the government is engaged in DNA testing on ancient corpses, possibly the remains found in Babylonian sites. The speculation takes an unbelievable turn, suggesting that these DNA tests aim to revive a breed of giants that purportedly existed in ancient times. Some proponents propose that the government might explore the feasibility of crossbreeding these old genetic materials with humans. While this theory resides mainly in speculation and conspiracy, it underscores a broader scepticism toward government activities and a fascination with the unknown. The idea that powerful entities withhold information about historical artefacts for potentially controversial experiments taps into a narrative that challenges conventional understanding and stirs curiosity about what might be hidden from public knowledge. Corey Good a famous figure in the realm of conspiracy theories and unexplained phenomena, has been a vocal proponent of the super-soldier theory. In an episode of his YouTube series Cosmic Disclosure, which has garnered attention for its speculative content, Good delved into the mysterious concept of stasis chambers housing giant creatures scattered across the globe. It's worth noting that the mentioned episode has been taken down, adding an element of mystery to the narrative. According to Good's claims, these stasis chambers are purportedly scattered in various locations worldwide. The purpose behind these chambers, as posited by the theory, remains shrouded in uncertainty. 
Good suggests two potential explanations. One revolves around the idea of these chambers being utilized as testing sites for a super soldier project, while the other proposes that they are preserved as historical artifacts, playing a role in documenting a cryptic aspect of human history. The notion of stasis chambers containing giant creatures introduces an element of science fiction into the narrative. The idea that such chambers exist and potentially harbour beings with extraordinary characteristics sparks curiosity and feeds into a broader fascination with the unknown. Good's claims contribute to the more expansive cultural tapestry of conspiracy theories, where individuals seek alternative explanations for historical mysteries and entertain the possibility of hidden knowledge. The removal of the Cosmic Disclosure episode adds another layer of intrigue as it raises questions about the information's accessibility and the motivations behind its removal. This underscores the complex dynamics between content creators, platforms, and the dissemination of unconventional ideas. While Good's theories may capture the imagination of some, it's crucial to approach such narratives with a discerning eye. Conspiracy theories often lack empirical evidence and scientific validation, residing more in speculation than fact. Nonetheless, these narratives persist as part of a broader human fascination with the mysterious and the desire to uncover hidden truths even without concrete evidence. The notion that the builders of Stonehenge were giants is a speculative and imaginative theory that diverges from mainstream archaeology. According to this theory, ancient giants, often depicted as beings of enormous size and strength, are believed to be responsible for constructing monumental structures like Stonehenge. This idea draws on mythologies and folklore from various cultures that feature tales of giants engaging in remarkable feats. Proponents of the giant builders theory suggest that these colossal beings with superhuman abilities created Stonehenge and other enigmatic structures. The exact origin, identity and nature of these giants remain in mystery, as no scientific evidence supports their existence. A vital element of this theory is the claim that these giants mysteriously vanished, leaving behind the impressive architectural wonders as their legacy. The mystery deepens with the assertion that no traceable DNA or identifiable remnants of these giants exist in the archaeological record. This absence of tangible evidence contributes to the enigma surrounding the alleged giant builders. While intriguing, it's crucial to approach such theories with a critical mindset. Mainstream archaeological interpretations attribute the construction of Stonehenge to ancient human communities who, despite lacking advanced technology, demonstrated remarkable engineering skills. The giant builder's theory falls outside established archaeological and scientific understanding. In exploring the mystery of Stonehenge, the giant builder's theory reveals more about human fascination with the unknown and our propensity to weave imaginative narratives around ancient wonders. The absence of empirical evidence to support the existence of giants highlights the importance of distinguishing between speculative theories and evidence-based interpretations when delving into past mysteries. What research progress have scientists made in tracing giant races and origins? In 1998, researchers from Emory University in Atlanta embarked on a journey to unravel the genetic ancestry of Native Americans. Armed with DNA data collected from diverse populations, their mission was to trace the intricate threads of history woven into the genetic fabric of Native American communities. This DNA analysis yielded a fascinating categorization, presenting a snapshot of ancestral influences that shaped Native American heritage. The researchers, through their meticulous study, identified four primary traditional components within the Native American DNA. 
According to their findings, 15% of the genetic makeup could be traced back to Norman French ancestry, while 35% showed influence from Anglo-Saxon roots. A notable 10% was attributed to the ancient Roman lineage, and the most significant proportion, constituting 40%, indicated connections to the Beaker people. This categorization unveiled a nuanced and diverse tapestry of ancestral origins, reflecting the complex historical journey of Native American populations. What made these findings particularly intriguing was the revelation of a migration path distinct from the previously assumed narratives. The genetic data suggested an alternative migration route originating from the Asian continent. This revelation shifted the timelines of Native American migration to a period between 20,000 and 30,000 years ago. Still, the research did not unfold without its complexities. Amidst the categorization of these ancestral components, a small but significant portion of collected samples defied the neatly defined groups. This departure from the established categories added an extra layer of intrigue and complexity to the genetic narrative. It hinted at the intricate interplay of diverse genetic influences, suggesting that the journey of Native American ancestry is more nuanced and multifaceted than a straightforward classification might imply. During the 1700s and 1800s in the United States, stories emerged of ranchers and farmers discovering large bones, sparking curiosity and speculation. These accounts often revolved around the unearthing of skeletal remains resembling those of large prehistoric creatures, leading individuals to believe they had stumbled upon remnants of ancient animals. The reported discoveries gained attention due to their mysterious nature and the potential implications for understanding the country's natural history. One notable aspect of these accounts is the subsequent claim that the Smithsonian Institution, a renowned scientific organization, either lost or purposely destroyed the discovered bones. The narrative suggests that the Smithsonian, for reasons unknown, chose not to preserve or showcase these purportedly significant fossils. This alleged suppression or mishandling of archaeological finds has fueled conspiracy theories and added layers of intrigue to the stories of early American bone discoveries. Many of these tales involve ordinary citizens encountering unusual fossils while going about their daily activities on ranches or farms. The excitement and curiosity surrounding these discoveries were often coupled with a sense of wonder about what ancient creatures might have roamed the land in prehistoric times. The reported size and characteristics of the bones contributed to the belief that they could be remnants of prominent and unknown species. Despite the lack of concrete evidence supporting the claim that the Smithsonian lost or destroyed these fossils, the narrative persists in certain circles. Skeptics of official institutions and historical narratives view these stories as examples of hidden knowledge or deliberate suppression of information. This skepticism reflects a broader cultural tendency to question authority and seek alternative explanations for historical mysteries. Not to mention the notion that humans mated with other dominant species, including angels and aliens, is a speculative and imaginative theory that ventures into the realms of ancient mysteries and extraterrestrial influence. While it captures the fascination of those intrigued by alternative narratives, it is crucial to approach such ideas with a critical lens. The concept of human-alien or human-angel interactions has been a recurrent theme in various mythologies and conspiracy theories. Proponents of this theory often cite ancient texts and artefacts as potential evidence, interpreting them through the lens of unconventional narratives. Still, mainstream scientific understanding of human evolution does not support claims of direct interbreeding with extraterrestrial or celestial entities. John Hopkins' analysis, mentioned in the context of this theory, adds another layer of complexity. 
If there were indeed significant changes in the human DNA over the past 5,000 years, it would raise intriguing questions about the factors influencing such alterations. Scientifically, differences in human DNA are often attributed to natural selection, environmental adaptations and genetic mutations, rather than interbreeding with supernatural entities. Exploring the potential factors behind the observed changes in human DNA requires a nuanced understanding of evolutionary processes. It invites considerations of how environmental shifts, cultural practices and population dynamics might have influenced genetic variations over millennia. Scientists use various methods, including genomic studies and archaeological findings, to unravel the intricacies of human evolution. What alarming but intriguing discovery will scientists uncover next? Thanks for watching another episode of Beyond Discovery. While you're still here, click on the other videos you see on your screen right now.